So we have a kind of a basic page here. Let me show you what we have. Excuse me. Here's we go. Uh, no, no CSS whatsoever. Just kind of a basic uh, H1 tag. That uh, says center nav example, and then a an ordered list with uh, list items and the A tag, and with no CSS. So we're going to add. CSS right now and again the CSS is going to go in between the style tags right here we're going to talk to the tags we're going to talk to the body first which is the whole page and then we'll talk to the large heading and then we'll talk to the unordered list and li and then the a tag and design this thing so we'll design uh, a little bit of the top and the whole back uh, background of the whole page so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk to the body tag we're just going to say body again in, in between the style tags and do the curly brackets announce to the computer what tag we're gonna mess around with and then we're gonna do a background color background colon and I've already chosen some colors so bear with me here FB FB 9 8 FB FB 9 and then I'll create a color scheme that I've already chosen on colorlovers.com. I'm also going to make sure that the uh, there's no, by default, there's like 10 pixels that will be empty. And we want this thing, uh, the centered nav, we want to basically have it go all the way across the page. And, and uh, make it look like it goes all the way across, 100%. So to do that, we're going to add padding of zero and then a margin on the body of zero and again by default there's like 10 pixels so we do that these two lines right here to take away those 10 pixels on either side and save it now you're not going to notice anything just the color right now but I'll show you once we get talking to the nav you'll see what I mean here now the next thing we're going to do is we have an h1 tag right here we're going to go, again, talk to the H1, and we're going to um, create a font family, and I'm going to use impact, which is just kind of a bold text here, and then I'm going to choose a font size of 4 EM or M. Uh, 1M is whatever normal size H1 uh, font is. 4EM is four times that size. So we use that in a lot in Web2. Uh, the color, again, I, I used a, uh, a color scheme. Okay, EEFAA8. And then we're going to create a little bit of text shadow. And the text shadow, the first one, I always get this confused, but uh, the first one is, I believe, how many pixels below. The second number is how many pixels to the right. And the 4px, the third one, is how, how soft or... Um, hard the shadow is. So the larger the third number is, the softer the shadow will be. And then the, the fourth thing we're doing is we're picking a number. Uh, 222, number sign 222 is kind of a dark, dark gray. Not black, but almost. So there you go. And then we're going to move the H1 from the left. We're going to move it in. Uh, 100 pixels so I'm saying margin left only on the left side it's going to move it in in 100 pixels from the left so if we look at this thing here okay there it is we have a little bit of a text uh, shadow we've have impact text we have a color um, and it's moved it from the left hand side in just on the left-hand side, 100 pixels. So just wanted to show you. Now, 
here's the big thing we're going to do. Again, we're going to talk to the UL, LI, and A tag. These three tags right here. And the first one's going to be, um, actually, we're going to give the, um, we're going to give the UL tag a, um, an ID. So you don't have to do this, but um, this way it'll specifically talk just to this. If we had another um, links or another unordered list on the page, it would specify uh, that we're talking just to this unordered list. So I'm going to give it a, an ID name. UL, and notice I'm inside the LI tag, a UL tag. ID equals nav. So from now on, this UL will be really named to the computer nav. So in this style, in between the style tags, I'm going to go number sign nav. I'm going to use a number sign because that's the ID name. If it was a class name, again, if you remember, it would be a period. So I'm going to talk to the UL. And I'm going to give it a border. And it's going to be 4px, 4 pixels, solid, and white. OK? Now here's the thing. Let me go ahead and save this. And if I show you this, you'll see, I don't know if you can see this, but see the white here? On the sides, here's the white border on the sides, and here's the white border on the right. We don't actually want that on the sides. We want it on the top and the bottom, but not the sides. So here's a trick. We're going to add a line, and even though we made a border, we're going to give it a border width. And I'm going to give it two numbers. The first number is going to be the top and the bottom and it's going to be four pixels wide. The second number, zero, is going to be for the left and the right. Okay? I'm going to save that and then reload it. And notice now you don't have that line on the left or the right. Okay? It's gotten rid of that. Now, we still haven't, you know, um, made our navigation horizontal, but we'll do that when we talk to the LI tag. Okay, so I'm going to go back. And I'm going to do a couple more things to the UL. Again, the UL is, is now called nav. I'm going to say list-style none. And that's going to take care of those dots, those by default, those dots that show up on a list item. I'm going to say margin 0, padding 0. Again, margin is empty space outside an element. Padding is inside an element, empty space inside an element. So we're getting rid of both. And then we're going to say text dash align center. OK? Now, again, we haven't talked to the LI, but let me show you this really quick here. Re whoop, reload it. There. It's placed in the middle. Okay? It's all, we're also gotten rid of all the dots. So we're going to go back. We're <coughs> done with the nav. Again, now this is really the UL tag, but the computer recognizes this as a word called nav. Now we're going to go below it. Let me up, go up here. We're going to talk to the LI tag right now. And I'm going to say number sign nav. And again, that's the UL and then a space. And then inside the UL, there's an LI tag. And we're going to talk just to that. Again, if we had other LI tags on the page, it would know to specifically talk to the one inside nav. So we're going to say display inline. And this is the magic line that will make it horizontal. There you go. OK. I'm going to save it. That's all we're going to do to the LI. Now we're going to do a lot of stuff to the A tag. But again, it's, it's inside number sign nav. So it's 
nav a, and this is what the a tag is going to look like when we don't do anything. We're not, we're not mousing over it. We're not hovering over it. So we're going to just say display inline block. This will make it a block element that will basically make it clickable, um, the whole part of the a tag. The next thing is we're going to create some empty space inside of it that will give us extra space to click. Five pixels on the top and the bottom, and then 20 px on the left and the right. Okay? And then we're going to say font size. We're going to say 2em. Again, m is what 1em is whatever normal font size is for an a tag. We're going to double it. The color of the text, anytime you see the word color, it just means text. It's number sign FFF, which is white. And then text decoration, this will, this will get rid of the, um, the underline. So text decoration will get rid of the underline. So again, let me update it. Okay. Now, we don't have any, you know, hovering right now, but we will. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to it. And we're going to talk to the A tag, but we're going to talk to it on its hover. So I'm going to go, again, I'm in between the style tags, number sign nav, and then A colon hover. And we're going to change the color purple and I think that's all we're gonna do so let me go reload it here you go okay so next video we'll get into below anything in the nav and put the pictures in and the um, Paragraphs of Latin text. Thanks.